sometimes every once in a while you find some really good people and uh, today I met a guide on the uh, Snake River unbelievable guy uh, I'm gonna post his name with this wherever I put it at because he's a he's a very kind individual he's gonna let me get a shower at his house before I head to the airport in the morning <laughs> and to me right now that's that's gold because it's about 130 150 dollars for a night for a hotel around here so the country I'm uh, hunted up today if you look over there up in that far to the saddle that big basin is where I was now I'm up in this country now the thing about this country is I've got to be very careful where I kill my elk at because um, about half mile that way is the Wyoming border so uh, I'm, I'm staying on my map and my compass and my uh, GPS is to make sure that I don't hit that border over there so this is a tough unit it's only got a I think last year maybe a 10% success success rate on it but uh, all the bulls I believe were over uh, six points that were shot with a bow and there's very limited rifle tags I think like two or something so that's why I'm here there's not a bunch of numbers here I knew that going into it um, but that's just the way it rolls so now I found a uh, side trail that actually it's a game trail that goes into Wyoming so I'm actually parked in Wyoming now I'm in Idaho so it's a long ways down from where my truck was I shouldn't say that long probably took me about a half an hour to get up to here anyways eh, not even quite that probably 20 minutes I got about another half an hour to go or so I've got about four hours of sunlight left so this is a super small sliver over here probably I would venture to say probably only the locals on it and uh we're gonna see what shakes, but I hate going through these rocks and open terrain because it screams rattlesnakes and I hate snakes. Like I really hate snakes and I really, really hate rattlesnakes. So we're gonna see what shakes. I'm gonna get up to the top. Even if I get bit, I'm just gonna power through it. I'm tough like that. <laughs> or I'm gonna scream like a girl and run back down to the truck or roll back down to the truck is probably more accurate. So I'm gonna keep climbing. I've been uh, wearing some Scarpas uh, that were fitted for me from Lathrop and Sons and doing these things. Hmm. Get to, there you go. They are incredible. I've literally never worn these boots other than to put my foot in them and check with uh, Steven to make sure I'm doing everything the doctor says as far as lacing them up. And uh, Steven Lathrop and James Lathrop, their dad founded the company. It's an incredible service, kind of like what I do with bows. Um, they take brands that are already existing and turn them into better brands. Um, they fit those boots exactly to you. So they custom make you insoles that are good for five to 10 years when you do the initial consultation. And uh, you know, they cost a bit, but dude, I've never put on a pair of boots and not had blister problems ever, especially with all the miles I put on within the first couple days of wearing them. So man, I am unbelievably impressed. And I, I can't tell you that's gonna happen for you, but I can just tell you that. It, it's that's the first pair of boots that's ever happened to me so where I've not had a blister so I am uh, super stoked I'm gonna get up here and man I hope this little little pocket holds uh, some elk in it in fact uh, I'm pretty certain it does because I talked to another person in town who just a mountain biker and they said they saw um, some elk up in this area on the Wyoming side but there's no reason they shouldn't be over here they don't know borders like that so Unfortunately, I have to, so I can get my tail all the way to the top, which is a jaunt, but I keep sitting here talking about it. I ain't gonna do it, so I'm out. See you later.